Easy money, Q. Yeah, what? Put some weight on there. When some girls are moving a, some weight like butter, I definitely walk over and be like, I know you can put another plate on there. Here we go. Easy. What? Muscle mommy, let's go. Easy. We did what needed to be done. We did the three-peat, we set the records. We made history. This year is more about celebrating one another. There's nothing that can break this group. It's about playing with a lot of joy, being present every single moment. The biggest honor is just to continuously grow the sport. Every single year, there's just more and more people watching it. We have set the standard, and there is something beautiful in that. It's going to take everything we got, and we have to work really hard for it. Everyone here likes that grind, and they like that can-they-do-it type mentality, and we're always out to prove it. If you're looking at how we can get better, <laughs> I just feel like our swings are off here and there. And when we like decide that we're gonna swing hard, like I'm gonna just absolutely go for it, that's when you see things like take off. I think I have the best hitting coach in the country in JT Gasso. And I'm not taking any credit for that young man. He's done everything on his own and he's done it the right way. And he's taken our hitters to another level. I love JT Gasso because my relationship with him, not only is it about softball, but it's about life. I feel like he understood who I was when I came in and didn't try to change it. And it's something that I've really respected. We respect each other and we can talk hitting and we can talk about anything in life. That relationship that we've built together is something that I think that other coaches should take note of. One of those jobs is to score first. If we can score first, do we need your win percentage? Insane. JT Gasso is one of the smartest coaches I've ever met in my life. He does so much research on everything with hitting, the mental side of the game, angles, but he's also really fun to be around. He loves to like be loose, but like take things seriously. So when you have coaches behind you that aren't just yelling at you and pounding you all the time, but just letting you be joyful on the field and just have fun, you're always gonna play better because you're playing free. Knowing the hitters that he's created coming in, I was like, whatever this guy wants to hear, let's do it. Nicole hammers one. Get out of here. It does. It's gone. Oh, baby, what a blast by Shay Knight. There it goes. Jocelyn Allo hits number 96. There's a new home run queen in college softball. And I kind of just laid it all down and allowed him to just give me any feedback that he had because I knew he has the reputation of creating all American hitters. We did a lot of like body testing and he like wanted to understand us just as much as we were trying to understand what he was talking about. Working together, figuring out what flows the best. He doesn't try to make each hitter the same as each other. He works with your skills, your strengths, your weaknesses, and he just really tries to be there for you. He always knows what's going on in my mind when I'm hitting. He knows when I'm confident, when I'm not confident, how to fix me when I'm not confident. A lot of it is just molded to you, and I really appreciated that. And it was like the first few weeks was just like finding what works and what's comfortable for me. He wants to hear from you because you're the one doing the action, and he does a great job of that. He's not going to give you anything that he thinks will hurt you. He's trying to do everything that will rise you up as a player and you just have to understand that and get over the frustration because it is frustrating at times but once you keep going and just being coachable it unlocks different things. One of the greatest things about JT is that every year he finds something new to implement into our hitting whether it's new tech or a new swing that he's blending into what we're doing. Something that he would tell us that's a small detail is the self-talk and how you talk to yourself. And it's kind of like you're imagining what would you say to a friend. And more than likely, we talk to ourselves way more nice when we're talking to a friend than we would be talking to ourselves. So that small detail that a lot of people don't realize can really help grow you for later in life, and especially like right now for the game of softball. I feel like I can come to him and I'm like, gosh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And right then and there, he's like, all right, we're good. It's always like, what can we do to progressively make you better? You're fine, like it's a process. And I think that process mentality is so important, especially in a game of failure like softball, where you only succeed four out of 10 times. And he sees it from the naked eye and he's like, hey, 
try this and you think it's the craziest out of the world like thing and then you like hit a home run and you're like what the heck like how did that even work JT is always the caddy for us and he's just gonna give us the tools and the information and everything that he can do for us to go up there and do our thing if coach Gasso was here running chain sprints JT I could never see JT running chain sprints <laughs> Not only do I pride myself on being strong mentally, but being strong physically is something that changed not only my softball career, but like my whole lifestyle and my whole approach on things and be able to just ha have fun in the weight room and crank the music and just get after it. Like, I love that stuff. Can you warm up? <sighs> you know, she's an inner animal in her that just comes out, but she's fun to watch in the weight room. I know there's no slacking off with her. She keeps everybody accountable. Okay, what do I want to do now? She gets after it in the weight room and it's fun to watch. And then I feel like some people like look at her like, oh, I want to try and go up too, like up my weight. Easy money. Yellow day. 105 on a light day. You can hear her a lot when you're doing an exercise. Easy money, Q. Yeah, what? Put some weight on there. When some girls are moving a, some weight like butter, I definitely walk over and be like, I know you can put another plate on there. Here we go. Easy. What? Muscle mommy, let's go. Easy. I love being able to make my teammates better. If I'm gonna be better, I want people to go with me. Here we go. Yeah, finish. Fire. <laughs> I have seen Kenzie Hansen in the weight room. She'll do a little bit of flexing here and there really um, is a great example of what hard work looks like in the weight room. We all love to go to the weight room because it has something to do with softball, but it's also like we don't have to throw the ball. We don't have to be like running in the dirt. It's like kind of a, a stress reliever for us. And we get to be angry and yell and scream. And Hanson's over here like front squatting like 400 pounds and we're like all getting hyped for her. I love when women celebrate each other's successes and women celebrate each other's strength mentally and physically because it's beautiful it's beautiful to have big muscles and be able to do what we can do hot girl spring hot girl spring Ugh. this summer if i'm not absolutely shredded in my bathing suit um, i've definitely thought about in the past couple of years what it would look like for me to be a strength coach and what i could do with not only women's sports but potentially um men's sports as well because having a, a woman's strength coach brings a different aspect to the table than a men's strength coach not in a good or bad way but it definitely is different and it's a different approach so being able to be a good example for other women and show them that it can be done and you can still be feminine doing it yeah you better watch out if she gets hired uh, I think she would be fabulous. I really do. I think she'd be fantastic. She does have the voice. Um, she has been voted as one of our captains. So uh, people are listening and people believe in what she's doing. I think I love the weight room just as much as I love softball. And that that's saying a lot. Get, 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 get it, gear up. We're gonna bark right now. I hope you're locked in. Drop it. Call me on three. One, two, three. Woo -hoo!